This is Anthony coming to you live from the solar shed right now. And um, in today's video, I'm going to show you actually uh, what I'm working on. And I have a Black and Decker thermoelectric refrigerator. And what's going on with this refrigerator is that the, um, the circuit board, the power supply actually died. Um, and what the power supply does or did it converted um, the AC power coming in from the grid um, it, it had a control circuit board which um, converted the AC power down to DC power because as you know um, thermoelectric refrigerators actually went off DC power um, so since the circuit board has died and I could repair it or have a new board purchased but I figured why go through all that when I can just easily connect this um, thermoelectric refrigerator directly to my solar system. So what I'm doing right now, I'm going to actually um, connect this thermoelectric um, refrigerator directly to um, the 12 volt portion of my solar system. So instead of going through um, an AC power um, converter power supply to, you know, step the power down to um, 12 volts, then convert it to DC, I'm just going to bypass all that bypass all that so I'm not going to actually put the circuit board back into this refrigerator and I'm going to show you the circuit board right now that got damaged okay here we go this is a circuit board that actually came out of the Black & Decker um, fiber electric refrigerator and if you look closely on the circuit board um, I have a couple resistors that are blown on the AC side and the DC portion looks pretty good and I'm just looking at um, the transformer. One of the transformers is actually burnt. And um, look like the, the burning took place on the, the primary side of the transformer. So, you know, I, um, maybe one day I'll go ahead and repair this circuit board. Um, if I do wish to hook it up to um, the grid again. But, you know, in that I have solar in my shed right now, I don't really need to use the circuit board anymore. So. Um, I called Black & Decker about it and, uh, you know, they, they want to charge an, a arm and a leg just to get um, a new power supply. You know, can you just imagine? Simple power supply. But anyway, I'm going to bypass all this right now and uh, I'm just going to uh, hook up this refrigerator directly to uh, my solar system because all this circuit board does, the AC power comes in right here. Um, from your wall, 120 volt AC comes in, then um, it goes through this transformer, which steps it down to um, about 24 volt AC. Then it goes through a, fil a filtering circuit via some capacitors and um, diodes. And then it comes on this side where it's converted into into 12 volts DC after it passes through the filtering circuit. So I really don't need this piece anymore. I'm just going to bypass the circuit board totally um, and just go directly to my solar 12 volt battery bank. So I started the wiring. Um, I've actually, I'm just grouping the wires right now. I'm going to connect all the red wires together and all the black wires together. As you know, red is positive in DC in proper coding and um, black is negative. Um, this refrigerator also has a, a thermostat inside and what I will do, I will um, just connect the thermostat directly to my input source so I can actually use um, the thermostat control to control um, the temperature of the thermoelectric plates. So I'm going to do the wiring right now and then um, we'll do a rough test. Okay guys, we have done it. I've actually converted my AC powered thermoelectric refrigerator to run straight off DC right now. And I'm just testing it right now with the 12 volt battery. Actually the 12 volt battery is connected in parallel. And um, so I'm just testing it right now, but it seems to be working very well actually. And um, this side, um, as you know, uh, with a thermoelectric refrigerator, one side is supposed to be hot and the other side cold. And this side is actually hot right now, so it's working very well, guys. So, yes, in case you have a, a Black & Decker 
um, former electric refrigerator and the power supply just like mine if it does happen to die then you can certainly bypass this power supply guys you don't have to buy another power supply from black and decker just um convert it to um dc by just connecting all the red wires together and all the black wires together and connect it to a dc source such as maybe solar um or a battery bank or something something another or something like that and you know you don't really need to um actually plug this refrigerator into an ac source because um, all thermal electric ref refrigerators actually run off dc even though they, they make it look fancy from the store and have this expensive um, power supply in it that converts the power from ac to dc you really don't need that you can go straight to dc so i hope this helps someone thanks for watching bye now